What's going on guys, it's Steve. Today I have more of a story for you guys. I'm gonna switch things up today. Hopefully you guys don't mind, but today I have a story for you guys. This happened the summer, I believe it was the summer of 2015, so around a year ago, a little bit more than that, um, probably around June 2015 or something like that. But anyway, so I was just graduating high school and you know, I was just so cocky. Um, you know, I, I thought I could be anyone in basketball. Honestly, I thought I was like the king of the basketball world. So I I get to this YMCA in New York, um, the Flatbush YMCA, and you know, people practice there. You know, so I get there. I wake up at like four in the morning every day. Get there at six, try to work on my game. Um, so I get there around six, and I see this couple, this man yeah. and this woman. So the funny thing is, is yeah. this man, he and I got into an argument before we even started to play with each other. Like, whoa, that sounded weird. But before we started to play, you know, basketball with each other, we got into an argument. You know, I was really disrespectful. I was young, I was cocky, I was arrogant, I was stupid. You know, so it was actually my fault, you know, just being a dickhead pretty much. And a few weeks go by, you know, th things soften up. I apologize, things like that. We start playing with each other. We start playing one-on-one -on -one full court. And, you know, I'm just kicking his ass. And then he's like, do that to my girl. And I'm like, what, what? Your girl plays uh, ball and you know i saw her play ball but i was like you, you think she could keep up you know and you know and keep in mind i'm not even like i wasn't even yeah. like getting any attention from scouts or anything you know i was just yeah. a random scrub playing basketball but i thought i was the king of the basketball world so um i go and you know she she comes and she's like all right yeah i'll play and i'm like all right fine let's play and i'm like you know, I'm gonna try and take it easy on her, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, go ahead, take it, take it easy on her, right?" And then by the time we, it's like probably like eight o'clock now, so it goes from six to eight, and everyone starts coming in because we're the early birds, and then there's like the other earlier birds, but we're the earlier, earlier birds, and should we start playing, and literally dozens of people are coming in the practice and i'm just like oh gosh you know i don't well, what is it looks like i'm playing a girl like what does this look like you know i look like an idiot so you know i just start i, I try to go hard you know i don't remember the exact score but I, I try to go hard you know i hit a couple threes in transition or whatever but then she's like all right you ready to get serious i'm like wait wait a minute you weren't playing serious this whole time and it's a pretty close game are you kidding me and you know after that like i did not score one basket and it was the most embarrassing thing ever i would try to take it to the basket i would get blocked or she would either while i'm trying to cross over she would either pickpocket me and i'm just like oh my goodness this is so freaking embarrassing what the hell is going on here i'm supposed to be you know i'm supposed to be trying to play for college next year and i can't even you know beat a girl one-on-one -on -one, and she is smoking me like literally she'll pick pocket me go over to the other side clap you know I'll, I'll try to drive to the basket she'll block me go to the other side clap i'll miss a three she'll come back and transition same thing she'll shoot a three and she'll make it and i'm just like what the fuck and there was a point where she made like five straight shots in a row and then game was over and i'm just like oh man what is going on so game's over and i look around and there's so many people there laughing like oh you just got your yeah, ass kicked by a girl and then i start talking to her i'm like okay what what is up here like did you play in the WNBA or something she's like no i played d1 college basketball i'm like oh, shit you know <laughs> i just got so fucking humbled i was just like oh shoot you know i was just like damn <laughs> if i can't even beat a girl in division one basketball wait till i play the division one basketball men now there's not i'm not trying to be sexist or anything but that's the way i was thinking back then i was young i was stupid i was ignorant and that was only like last year but i matured a lot since then and you know i'm just like okay if i can't even beat this girl one-on-one -on -one, i'm gonna be so shitty against men one-on-one -on -one. and then ever since then like at that gym my confidence was just went straight down no one you know gave me any respect anymore <laughs> some college players you know go to that gym and practice and you know they wouldn't even let me practice with them anymore they wouldn't even you know l shake my hand anymore and i'm just like what the fuck dude how the hell because like i could keep up with them but not you know just for some reason she just kicked my ass because she was so much better than me at basketball and it was after that my confidence it was like kyle lowry in the playoffs his kyle's confidence went down it was like that i was just like what the fuck you know so uh moral of the story is take everyone serious when you play basketball boy or girl you know unless it's like your girlfriend or something you don't want to take that too serious because then you'll have relationship problems but you know moral of the story is you know just chill out don't take things too serious i mean take things serious you know but uh beware your competition because you never know who you're playing and like i said i got 
my ass killed by a Division One basketball player. And I really wish I knew her name. I know it was Tamika, and I know she went somewhere in, um, to one of the SUNYs in New York. I don't remember with Syracuse, Buffalo, or one of these you know SUNYs in New York. I don't know exactly which one, but now by the way, SUNY stands for State University of New York. It's like a whole system like California has and Florida and things like that. But you know, I really wish I knew her full name so I could tell you guys. But all I know, I think it was like Tamika or something like that. But um, anyway, I'm out of here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Try to switch things up for a little bit. Anyway, peace. Yeah, you got it. I just want to see how high I can get her at.